Denunciation of the Viet Cong regime of human trafficking in violation of human rights Your Viet Cong regime is a human trafficking regime that the whole world is condemning. Humans are not a commodity for your regime to exchange, although it is not in money, but you have exchanged them with political advantages. The personnel traveling to the U.S. of the Viet Cong cadres are called by you, Prime Minister Pham Minh Chin. Therefore, the Your regime released two prisoners of conscience, Mr. Ho Duk Wa and Ms. Tran T. Thuy. It is still a human trafficking, very embarrassing and humiliating for anyone who is Vietnamese. You have humiliated the nation. Your Viet Cong regime is also seriously violating human rights when people want to express their different opinions. What crime did Mr. Ho Duk Wa and Ms. Tran T. Thuy commit that they were jailed for 11 years and 8 years in prison? These two people, as well as hundreds and thousands of other dissidents, are imprisoned by your jungle Viet Cong regime. They want freedom and democratization of Vietnam. The criminal code of your Viet Cong regime is a barbaric code. Because these people do not commit any criminal offenses, such as robbing, stealing, or cheating anyone. They were convicted by your regime under Article 79 of the Penal Code of overthrowing the people's government. Please, don't demean the people with the word, people, like your banners spread across the country saying, people's public security. Only know the Communist Party exists. Your securities only know how to serve the Communist Party. Why is it called the people's public security? It must be called the Vietnamese Communist Party's security to have its true meaning. It's your Viet Cong Party that's the treasonous party because you call yourself the Communist Party of Longevity and Glory. You guys are standing upon the Vietnamese country, treason is like that. You guys have been bandits from September 1945 in the hands of Tran Trong Kim's government. But there are no people to vote for you. It should be affirmed that you do not deserve to be called people's government. I affirm that your Viet Cong regime is just cowards when you accuse Mr. Wa and Ms. Thuy of subversion, crime. While the two of them only have two water guns, your Viet Cong court is stuck, not proving how they overthrew you. I detest the three most ambiguous and barbaric laws in the history of the Vietnamese nation, which are Article 79, criminal of overthrowing the people's government. Article 88, propaganda against the Socialist Republic of Vietnam, and the Article 331, abusing democratic freedoms. Even more crass, your Viet Cong regime's face is thicker than a cutting board. When you ran for president of the Human Rights Council at the United Nations, a human trafficker and the most egregious human rights violator has the title of president of the Human Rights Council. Ironically, 